When might you be tempted to abandon a friend who is going through a tough time? I can think of a ton of time, a ton of them. Look at, I'll, I'm going to throw one out there right now that that's super hot. I'm going to throw out a hot issue because uh, I think we can go after one that's really, really hot right now. Uh, so there's a, a local mayor who got caught uh, behaving badly, uh, impassionately, and he, <laughs> and he was impassioned badly and, and uh, it, towards the police department for, uh, for something he thought was a, an injustice. And I don't know exactly his circumstances in that moment or his, his uh, frame of mind, but it, it, it's, it, there's no good spin on it, right? And it's been all over social media, it blew up nationally, right? So, and he uh, wound up in jail and lost his job. And so, I mean, there's a, you know, there's no, there's no real win on that storyline. And I watched as our church murdered him on uh, social media, just murdered him. And, uh, and he goes to our church and he's sorting out his spiritual life. And I've watched as, as he's trying to walk out his faith story and kind of, kind of trying to understand, uh, you know, he had a life in construction. He's got a, a hard family situation and, and he's trying to take steps and get it sorted out. And he's sorting, he's trying, he's coming to a place of, of, of recognizing Christ and who Christ is in his life. And he's uh, embracing that. And, uh, and I, I don't know if he'll be back to church because we absolutely murdered him online as a church. We murdered him, you know, and uh, I just wonder, you know, at a point where someone does something really, really dumb, it's way just easier to walk away from them and criticize them and uh, and rather than figure out how to how to support them in the midst of their stupidity. Yeah, and, and I think Mark too is that um, you know and and you know the one the question says you know when might you be tempted to abandon someone? Um, you know I'm guessing that you know part of that that temptation would would be if to stand in support of someone in the midst of a bad situation like, like and i think you you've got a you've got a good example there because well how do you you know how do you defend the behavior well you really don't because yeah. it, it was pretty it was pretty clear you know that you you, know, you you can't defend the behavior it was just a little bit too too clear but to be able to support someone is different but i think sometimes if you come in to support someone going through a situation like that it can appear that what you're really doing is defending them and i think that's where so so why would i be tempted just to to take a step back well you know it's tough because i i don't i don't want to get, leave the impression that um i support what happened but at the same time you know to your point this is this is a brother who's in need of something yeah right and uh so I guess you know that that when might they be tempted to to abandon, if if supporting them makes it look like you're supporting what they did. Well, and, and do you, what it, what would it be like if God took that posture with us? That well, I, you know what? Uh, if they sin, <laughs> yeah, I better not align myself too closely with them. I'm because not, I'm not going to get too close <laughs> because uh, I don't want to sully my good name. <laughs> <laughs> it, would, it would be a, we would have a whole different kind of a faith story if that was God's posture towards His creation. Right. And, uh, let's not <laughs> let's not allow my my uh, my holy holy name to be tarnished <laughs> in reputation by being friends with you. And wasn't that exactly what Jesus experienced on Earth? It's like, wait a minute, you're friends with who? You're friends with with that you know you know that set of, of hoodlums, you know. You're, you're friends with that, you know, that bastard son of a whore, you know, Hamilton. But you know, oh. you, <laughs> you got to throw in the Hamilton reference. <laughs> totally get it. Uh, you're just, uh, just can't you can't be associating with that level of criminality, uh, Jesus? Don't you know? It's like people aren't going to trust you as a rabbi if you like hang out with with those tax collectors. That's that's too that's too much. <laughs> You're going to Zacchaeus' house? That's too much. You got to cut cut it off right there. That's too much, you know. When it would have been really great if we could have, as a church, rallied behind someone 
and said, you know what, that, that, I don't, I don't love that you did that, but uh, I love you and I, and I really want to support you and distinguish the difference between support and endorsement as a, as a whole, because we, we all are going to fall down. I am going to fall down. And what I know about our church is that when I fall down, uh, we have a, we have a habit of absolutely destroying are wounded and it's so it's a little unfortunate that that's where we live but we just watched that happen again we're the only army on the earth that that tries to kill its wounded when the sun rises.